Hello student, welcome to the fourth session. Here I'll be discussing about the second most important variable of marketing mix uh, that is uh, pricing. Some of the topics I'll be discussing throughout this session uh, would be uh, basics of pricing, price mix and online pricing strategies. After completion of this session, you will be able to know the implication of online pricing. You will also be able to apply online pricing strategies. Now let's discuss about the concept of price. Price is the amount of money charged for a product or service. It is the sum of all values that customer give up in order to gain benefits of using a product or service. Throughout history, prices were negotiated. Fixed price policy is modern idea. The internet is taking us back to an era of dynamic pricing. The internet also allows price transparency. Both buyers, sellers and competitors can view Prices online. The prevalence of shopping comparison sites makes it easier for customer to compare product prices across a number of retailers. Now let's discuss the basics of pricing. Pricing is one variable company can change overnight. There are three components of pricing. Number one, the amount of product costs to be you know, produced. The price customer pay to buy the products and the value they acquire from the products. These help to take pricing decisions. Apple produce highly differentiated products. Its devices are best in class. It charges premium price for its product because we believe that Apple products are highly differentiated. Dear students, you should know the price mix concept because it helps companies to adopt competitive pricing strategies. Companies adopt price mix strategies to fix value for their products. So what is a price mix? It is the value of product determined by producers. Price mix includes the decisions like price label to be adopted, discounts to be offered, and terms of credit to be allowed to customers. The combination of different price related variables chosen by a firm to fix the price of its product is called price mix. Price related variables include pricing objectives, cost of products, competitors, price, and profit margins. Now let's discuss the pricing objectives. As you all know, a pricing objective helps in fixing the price. Companies adopt survival objectives when they are having overcapacity, high competition, and due to changing customer needs and preferences. Companies follow the self-maximization strategies, keeping the competitors activities in the market. Companies also adopt market share increasing, profit increasing objectives. As you all know, higher sales volume will lead to lower unit costs and higher long-run profits. 
IKEA is adopting this strategy successfully. Companies also adopt market scamming strategies. Here, these companies charge high price for their innovative products. As you all know, Sony skimmed the price for 3D television. Initially, Apple charged higher price for its iPod because at that point of time, uh, such products were not available. Some companies also adopt product quality leadership as their objectives. They charge higher price to cover higher performance, quality, a Starbucks, Taj group of hotels, Hilton, etc. follow uh, this strategy. Now I'm going to discuss about upward and downward pressure on pricing. Upward pressures on pricing result in higher prices for customer buying online. These include advertising costs, backend employee costs, distribution and shipping costs, affiliate programs, commission, site development and maintenance fee, uh, social media campaigns charges, charges for uh, sponsorship of events, and customer acquisition. Downward pressure on pricing uh, result in lower price for customer buying online. These include self-service order processing, just-in-time inventory, customer service, printing and mailing, and digital product distribution. These help companies to reduce their price because these can be done digitally. Firms can save money by using internet technology for all its internal processes and the benefits, the saving of this can be passed on to the customer. Friends, now let's discuss digital pricing strategies. Pricing is very challenging task for any marketeers. Price setting is full of challenges and has become an art as much as a science. Digital products have different pricing models. You might have heard about premium. It is when companies offer a basic product for fee and an upgraded version of the product for a fee. You might have heard also about light version of a product. They are sold at lower prices with fewer features. Full price versions include more feature and you are also going to pay more for these products. Now I'm going to discuss about pricing in IT industry. It will help you to understand how differently you are going to set price for different categories of the product uh, in different industries. So let's come to pricing in IT industry. Pricing depends on Consumer demand, product features, competitor pricing, and market and economy trends. Travel and convenience, taxes, documents, legal charges, consultancy fee, professional charges, royalties, annual maintenance. These can also be part of the overall pricing. IT companies also adopts some of the models of pricing. 
like line of code model here price depends upon the number of lines written in a program the function point model here price is determined based on the number of input and output uses and transaction period of uses can also be basis for pricing so marketers can employ all traditional pricing strategies to online environment as well now i'm going to talk about some of the uh, popular methods of pricing first i'm going to talk about fixed pricing fixed pricing occurs when sellers set the price and buyers must take it or leave it everyone pays the same price now let's talk about value pricing marketers offer high quality products or services for low prices value based pricing uses buyers perception of value not the seller's cost as the key to pricing for example peter england offers quality and a style at value price parle offers value pricing for its product for example it is also selling biscuits at 3 rupees price point and fruity cone at 5 rupees price point frito lays offers product at price point of rupees 5 10 20 etc now i'm going to talk about uh segmented pricing the company sells a product or service at two or more prices even though the difference in price is not based on differences in costs here different customer pay different prices for the same product or services for example in the same plane you are traveling there is business class as well as economy class similarly if you are going to watch a movie in the same theater you will find balcony front stall middle stall and different prices are charges charged for uh, these uh, uh, services railway has got also first class second class three tier etc and uh, they are charging differently for different uh, you know level of services now i'm going to talk about dynamic pricing you know you have to adjust your price sometime look it looking at the situation prevailing uh, in front of you so adjusting price continually to meet the needs of individual customer and situations should be the prerogative of any marketers now i'm going to give a, a, some of the examples of uh, dynamic pricing airlines have long used dynamic pricing to price air travel railways have also introduced dynamic pricing even departmental stores are offering dynamic pricing on weekdays from monday to friday because footfall in uh, stores are less in weekdays 
so they have to give some offers uh, to increase uh, their sale dell uses dynamic pricing it raises price of component in short supply and drop price for oversupplied item interesting finally i'm going to talk about the payment methods available online the main principle behind business is that one party provides a product in exchange for getting paid by the other party e-commerce popularity and digital payment methods have created ease for merchants as well as customers a payment gateway allows a merchant to go beyond geographical limitations in terms of audience and to boost revenues some of the popular methods of payments are net banking credit card debit card mobile wallet cash on delivery emi gift cards vouchers and promotional code etc with this i end this session i hope you might have enjoyed today's session I am looking forward to your feedback. Thank you very much.